<laughs> okay, so I've been thinking about doing something like this for a little while. Is it doing weird things on the screen? Because of the light? I think it's stopped now. Yeah, good. We'll carry on. I've been wanting to do something like this for a little while. And basically it's just along the lines of rather than a sit and talk video, which I'm definitely still going to do. I wanted to also share some stuff that was a bit more practical, like a bit more me kind of showing you stuff that I did that helped me. Um, so if people think that would be a good idea, I mean, you, you probably want to watch this today and then you can judge whether you think it's useful or not. But I talk a lot about the importance of abundance and to combat a scarcity mindset, an abundant mindset is key because it's that's literally opposite action. Eating disorder, energy deficit, all of that resides around this scarcity mindset. The opposite of that is an abundant mindset. And so simple things for me in terms of embodying that in my recovery were where my eating disorder liked to have me plating up. So if I wanted some biscuits, for example, I found myself going to the box biscuits, taking out a few, putting them on a little plate, going, sitting down, eating them. And then, yeah, okay. Sometimes that was then just blatant portion control where I'd be like, there you go, I've had biscuits. Or I'd then get up, come and have some more, again, get more out of the box, put them on my little plate, go and have them. And yeah, all food is good food. And in recovery, as much like anything that helps you to eat more food is good. But in terms of the rewiring, and boosting that process, plating up, putting, going and putting food onto a neat little plate, taking that into a place, eating that, coming back, putting more, all of that behavior aligns very much with a world where food is this scarce, precious, precious, scarce, precious resource where it's got to be portioned out and we go and we take it. And then if we want more, okay, we'll go and do it again. And it's one, a process of slowing, like, it's a weird mix. It's like that biological thing where food is this scarce thing and we've got to order it all out and it's got to be neat. And then it's also an eating disorder tactic in that it does definitely slow down eating. It's a way to portion control. It's a way to monitor what's going in. Basically, in summary, it's something which I noticed I did and not doing it pissed my eating disorder off, which therefore showed me it was exactly what I needed to be doing more of. Now, what I used to help me do this was a tin. This is a hero's tin. It could literally be any tin or it could be a box or it could be a big Tupperware. The main thing is that it is large and can have things put inside it. That's the main, that's the, that's the criteria really. We're not fussy. Um, and what I did is go to the shop and buy the things and I would just take all the things and put them in the box. So to be fair, I, the reason I'm doing this now is because we still have a tin that's left over from Christmas. And I was like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity because this is exactly the kind of thing that I would have had. Like this, I'm not going to be able to do this because it's all going to fall out. But right now it's, it's got some brownie, some chocolate, which this, this chocolate, by the way, Tony's Chocolony. I know you can't really see it. Amazing. Their chocolate's so good. Random chocolates, obviously heroes and other bits and pieces. And then say, I'm going to see what have I got. Um, oh, I've forgotten these. Gingerbread biscuit. That'll go in there. Sweets go in there. Now I would often actually take them all out of the packaging, stick them all in there. Literally everything would go in. And that was also something that I found really helpful when trying to get out of the habit of numbers. When stuff came in, I would literally just take it straight out of its packaging, whack it in and bin the packaging. I found very much that disengaging with the numbers helped massively in terms of neural rewiring. Like neural rewiring is basically teaching your brain through your actions something new. And for me, my eating sort of brain was focused, preoccupied with numbers. I just zoomed in on them. I knew that so many, like a bloody walking encyclopedia, 
And if I didn't, if I didn't know it specifically, I had this like weird photographic memory and I'd just zoom in. It's like I didn't look at things. I just zoomed in on traffic lights and numbers. And basically my brain was so preoccupied that when it came to neural rewiring of that, actually the best thing I could possibly do is just do everything I could to mean that numbers weren't even a thing. They just weren't present in the situation. I just ditched the packaging, went to bakery so that stuff didn't have numbers written on it. Like all these kind of things. I'm going off tangent. I'm sticking on one thing at a time, sticking on the box. But basically, this is a cupboard full of wonderful things. I didn't even... Another perk of recovery, forgetting what's in the cupboards. Like I used to know the contents of the kitchen like this is, we've got this and we've got this and we've got this many of this. I literally don't know now. I open the cupboard and I'm like, oh, look at those. I forgot that. Um, but yeah, I'm going on tangent. Literally, I just put it all in the box. Tin, full of things. And when I felt myself thinking, oh yeah, I'd like to go and get some biscuit. Biscuits as well. Literally just packets of biscuits. You know, the sleeves, just straight in, big tin, keeps them nicely. It's perfect, literally perfect. If I found myself wanting something and I think, oh, I just fancy something sweet, go and get my tin, take my tin, sit down and I'd eat from it. Now, I found that really helpful for two reasons. One, I was talking about that abundance mindset, like taking all your contents of your biscuits, chocolates, all that kind of stuff and just sitting down with them and going, you know what? I'm just going to eat from this. I'm not portioning it out. I'm not saying I'm going to have three biscuits and no, I'm literally just going to graze from this box. And I'm just going to eat. Pissed off my eating sort of massively in terms of portion control and was really good for rewiring that scarcity mindset. The other thing that it was really helpful with was that in those moments where I'm just going to shut this, it doesn't look very, there we go. Um, in those moments where you think, oh, actually, I think I fancy something. You know, you might suddenly go, no, I think I am actually hungry. I'm thinking, right. And you walk into the kitchen, walking in, and you go, and then you walk to the fridge, and you, and I'm not going to walk over to the fridge. And then you come back to the cupboard, and you get something out, and you put it back, and you get something else out, and you put it back. And you end up in that place where your brain is going, oh, and what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And your eating disorder is like, oh, da, da, da. and it's all that. It's the perfection paralysis and also hunger and your brain being like, I want everything. Your eating disorder being like, don't have anything. And that awful place, I found it really empowering to be able to walk in and go, oh, I'm not exactly sure what I want right now. So I'm going to take my tin. I'm just going to eat from here. And you know what often happened? I'd be sitting there eating the chocolates, the biscuits, whatever. And my brain would suddenly go, oh, you've got that cheesecake in the cupboard. Like, go and get that. Like, that'd be really good. And then I'd get up and go and do it. Like, so eating from my tin in that moment, coming in and being like, right, I'm just taking the tin. I'm going to eat from this. Not only did it enable me to connect with my hunger and be able to connect with other things that I was fancying and kind of open the door to the possibility and that connection between my actual body's desire for food and my brain, it also got me out of that place where so often I'd go into the kitchen, think, I'm not sure exactly what I want. I'd be completely whipped up in that frenzied pa panic of, what do I have? What do I not have? Should I have this? Should I not have this? Da -da 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 -da. And I'd end up in those situations often I just end up not getting anything because I was so overwhelmed by everything that I'd end up falling from when I eating sort of bullshit things of, oh, if you just wait for da da da, then, then maybe, and then, oh, and dinner's in, all that crap. It really helped me to beat that and to be like, no, no, I'm not engaging in all of this. I'll grab my biscuits tin, go and sit down, just graze from this. And yeah, basically it was just a really powerful tool. So I'm gonna go, let me know if this has been helpful in any way also if there's any other practical stuff that you'd like me to do so let me know and yeah i hope it's been helpful take care bye